Hey everybody, welcome back to Pacific Wargaming. Today we'll be continuing with the redeployment uh, after having conquered France. We'll be going over our future order of battle for the invasion of the Soviet Union. Um, we'll briefly discuss our plan to hopefully finish up the Scandinavian campaign. And then um, we'll also be going over uh, production of units that we need to get ready for Barbarossa and also uh, the Battle of the Atlantic. So there's going to be a lot to cover and uh, let's get started. All right, let's get the clock going here. Let's uh, briefly take a look at Norway. So 5th and 3rd and 4th Mountain are heading north. And it looks like 1st and 2nd Mountain are sort of holding the line in Sweden while 1st Motorized Corps redeploys east to take up position. Um, I have a feeling the British are about to land some troops in Norway somewhere because they have carrier air groups bombing us. We'll, we'll actually redeploy 3rd Panzer Grenadier down to this area to counter any landing. Let's check uh, out the situation down here. So we're redeploying our infantry armies to the Soviet border. We're going to keep 1st Panzer Army in France for the moment, at least until we can start garrisoning um, the ports with uh, garrison divisions. And we need to be able to react to any amphibious invasions over here, and we don't really need our panzers elsewhere, at least at least for a couple months. We'll redeploy these um, let's see, SS divisions to cover Amsterdam and Brussels. And I think that's it. So uh, we'll we'll start lining up our infantry on the Soviet border, and I'll go over how that order of battle is going to work. So we do need to assign some fighter groups to these Eastern Front Army groups directly. The rest of our fighters will stay in Germany on uh, defense. Let's get a Air Force HQ out to start assigning units to. We do want a general that has the logistics modifier that's also a Luftwaffe general, so there's one. Let's take a look at our technology. I think we're getting a little bit ahead on some techs. Let's move combat and first aid up to the top. Cruisers and carriers. We'll start on the 1941 techs for cruisers. Armament infantry, okay, two armament infantry and carriers. So I think catapults and 
trucks, and then we'll get these two infantry attacks to the top. Okay, so let's get some army group commands headed out there. Uh, let's see. AG East for the Polish campaign is going to be renamed to Army Group Center. Army Group Center, there we go. And we'll get them redeployed to Warsaw. Looks like First Mountain's holding fast here, which is good. Okay, the UK is attacking Oslo, so let's head, head over there. Fourth Panzer Grenadier is having supply issues. Let's get some supplies to them so they can speed up. And then let's actually see what we're dealing with here. We might be able to attack these British ships depending on what their composition is. We'll get some medium bombers to scout. Two fleet carriers, battleship, heavy cruiser, and a bunch of destroyers. So we'll just nuisance raid them right now with our medium bombers. Hopefully, fourth Panzer Grenadier speeds up here. Looks like we can try to get some supplies to third, too. Assault gun advance, so we'll be building some of these for our Fort Buster divisions later. Okay, third Panzer Grenadier is just moving horribly slow because they're in the mountains. Let's get them on trains. Let's see, how are our bombers doing? They're not really taking any losses, but they're not doing much damage either. Okay, fourth Panzer Grenadier is speeding up a lot. They're up to 8 kilometers an hour now, so I have a feeling they'll get to Oslo before the British do. Okay, our infantry is making it its way across. All right, we've pushed the Brits out of, uh, let's see, what was it called? Solsuta or Solstua. So we'll get fourth to advance north and fifth. Just keep the pressure up. Won the Battle of Namsos. I knew that division was out of strength. Second is still holding, um, but it looks like these British Marines might get around the back of us. Okay, so this naval invasion has sped up quite a bit. We don't have an, any heavy cruisers available yet. Let's see if we can get our eastern fleet over here. We might take a risk here and, and start a naval battle. It would be nice to destroy some British units.
Okay, second mountain has held, so we'll get them to attack the Marines so they don't get around the back of us. We've lost Oslo. So far, it's just a Marine division. Looks like 4th Panzer Grenadier should be able to attack right away. We're going to have to watch our supplies carefully, though, because we just lost... We just lost Oslo, so we're not in supply for the moment. Actually, no, we are through Sweden, fortunately, but just got to pay attention to that. Okay, so this, we're going to switch our bombers to ground attack. Let's see, where is... Third Panzer Grenadier won't be able to assist until they are done with their cooldown. Okay, so our armies are arriving. Let's get a first army assigned to Army Group North. We'll just do a large redeployment here just to get our units on the border. Okay, third will attack when it can. Looks like about 75 hours to go. Okay, we're going to use these motorized units as soon as they're available to reconnect to Lulea along the coast. And then second man, Panzer Grenadier is going to swing around and, and attack these guys from the rear. Let's also consider um, the U-boat situation. So we have some more U-boats coming out momentarily, and once they're out, we'll start assigning our subs to the Atlantic ports. So they're putting up a decent defense, partly because there's some coastal forts, but I have a feeling once their Panzer Grenadier gets into the into the fight, um, we won't have too much of an issue. Looks like our bombers are doing a decent amount of damage. It's the importance of air power. Okay, second army will assign to Army Group North. This ends up being pretty fluid in once the invasion of the Soviet Union starts, but I like to have ideally two infantry armies per army group. Okay, 38 hours to go still. Okay, Second Mountain's facing some pretty decent resistance here. Okay, we'll start out flanking the north and see if we can catch these guys stuck on the river. Okay, let's assign some more infantry corps to second army. Let's see, where's third army? Okay, we should have subs out any moment now. Okay, we'll go over production in a bit, but we need at least... We have our third Panzer Corps in construction. We need at least uh, two more. Uh, so that's another 10 Panzer Divisions on top of this, and then another 10 motorized at least. And then at least another, let's see, two... 20 or so infantry divisions. So we have we have quite a ways to go before uh, June 41, before we're ready for that. OK, 
Okay, there's one of our subs. So I think we need to reform USB 8. Let's get first and second headed to Brest, and then we'll assign the headquarters to L'Oreal. We don't want to move these all at once in case they get caught. Okay, third Panzer Grenadiers in the fight, so we should be able to capture Oslo shortly. Okay, Fifth Mountain's getting a little bit ahead of things, but that's okay. We'll just keep the British on the back foot. Looks like our motorized divisions are coming into line as well. So First Mountain will try to complete this encirclement. I don't really care if these guys get ahead of us. Okay, the main resistance is in the center here. We actually might overrun 7th motorized infantry for the Norwegians if we can get into Grong faster than they can. And it looks like we looks like we did. So these guys must have been out of supply. So they were just overrun. That's what that looks like. That's really great uh, news for us. Okay, let's see how our redeployment's going. So 3rd Army is going to take up positions on the Polish border with um, Eastern Poland, which is now part of the Soviet Union. Let's get more core assigned to it. should do it. See how our subs are doing. So they're moving at 11 kilometers an hour. That's pretty slow. These are older subs, so I'm not surprised by that. Let's get third and fourth to head out as well. Okay, we need to capture Oslo quickly. Okay, first mountains made it across the river, and we might get an overrun on this Norwegian unit as well. All right, so uh, our deployment's going pretty well. We're getting our infantry corps to the border slowly. I think uh, we're using a lot of the rail network in Poland right now. Okay, so our motorized divisions have, they're, they're moving slow, but they're pushing north. Third Mountain's assisting Second Mountain. Uh, fourth will advance north in a minute to, to keep Fifth uh, Mountain's flank secure when we can do that. I might have to slow down 5th Mountain, unfortunately, because they can't get too far in advance. Okay, 2nd Army looks good. Yeah, okay. And then... Okay, we need at least another 
20 or so infantry divisions here, and hopefully another 10 in Romania. Um, that seems like an arbitrary amount of divisions, and seems like quite a lot of divisions, but trust me, when you're, when you're spread out between somewhere east of Leningrad to Moscow to Stalingrad, you need every division you can get. And I just zoomed across the planet. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's use that as a, um opportunity to check in on things. Looks like Japan's still bogged down in China. They've captured all of eastern China, but um, they're a little bit behind on south China, actually quite a bit behind, and uh, they're still not able to seemingly do anything to Shangzi. And actually they've lost a part of Manchukuo. That's kind of interesting. Um, okay, the battle, uh, the Pacific War hasn't started yet, and um, yeah, that's really it so far. So, yeah, back to Europe. So we have um, another another infantry division in construction. Let's get another one in queue. Infantry Corps, I should say. Um, these are important, but we're going to have to just keep pushing them down until we can get more important things built. All right. Um, so there's a happy time for U-boats. That gives us a 15% convoy efficiency bonus. So we're being incentivized to get our our subs to to the Atlantic ports. So let's get let's get going on that. We have a lot coming out of construction soon. So okay, the Battle of Oslo is about to be finished up. They're kind of stubborn in the end there. Okay, first mountain's gonna just ignore. Um, this division and start moving to central Sweden because our motorized divisions can now take care of this direction. Okay, we do need some more supplies in that part of Sweden, so let's get airdrops going. Uh, I might have to rebase to Stockholm. Let's do that. Another benefit of having Sweden as a puppet. Okay, let's do some air airdrops in Harnosund. Okay, fifth is going to probably st stall somewhere around Moirana until we can kind of clean this up a little bit. Okay, let's see. So uh, SS engineers, we'll need them later. We don't need battle commanders. Okay, there's our other U-boat, so let's assign that here, and this will now be the 8th U-boat group. To replace some um, 8th that we lost earlier. Okay, so these are a little sneakier, they're a little bit faster, but their um, their detection and hull strength should be, should be better than our previous ones. So let's get them down to the coast. Let's see, where did... Wow, where did um, Submarine Command go? There they are. Okay, they'll go to St. Nazaire as well. Okay, we're running out of supplies in Poland. That's what happens when you move that many troops at once by train. It'll kind of straighten out in a minute here. Right, what else? Okay, so we got some more destroyers. Let's assign these to the Eastern Fleet. Uh, we want at least four with them. Okay, uh, what tech carriers are we at? I think we're still at Graf Zeppelin. Or no, we're at Clausewitz. Okay. Let's see. Transport capability. Alright, so we're gonna probably build another batch of fleet carriers soon. Not quite yet. We're gonna wait till our um, most of our land priorities are done first. Okay, some more SS uh, brigade types: uh, mountain and cavalry. We probably won't use, but there's no penalty to taking it. Let's send our bombers back. I don't think they're gonna be needed anymore. So we did lose Oslo, but the British are just bleeding these marine divisions like it, like they're, you know, candy. I mean, 
a real player wouldn't do that, just piecemeal in divisions and lose them. Okay, fifth is going to attack these this concentration of headquarters units just to disperse them, but it's not going to advance much further than that for the moment until fourth can get up further north. Okay, so this Norwegian division should lose organization rapidly. It's both attacking and losing um, in Stromsund, and it's being attacked by 5th Panzer Grenadier. So let's get 4th to keep pushing. Oh, okay, so our subs did sink some British ships, including a light cruiser, HMS Diomede. That's great for us, and uh, looks like a destroyer escort. And that was just by, by chance, really. Let's see, third submarine, get into Brest. Sometimes they, they kind of freeze outside of a port, so you got to pay attention to where you're sending things. Um, Self-propelled artillery, we'll take it. Okay, that's cl okay. Eastern Front's kind of um, where it can be for the moment. We're not going to be attacking the Soviets until um, summer, so we got some time. Okay, we're running into the supply issues with our motorized divisions. Let's get another supply drop going. This is crucial, um, these supply drops in the Barbarossa campaign. You'll see why. Um, Northern Sweden is just kind of a prequel to that. It's not good terrain. Uh, the infrastructure is really a hodgepodge. Although, you know, on the East Coast, it's better than anything in the Soviet Union, really. And um, the distance that we'll be traveling... You just you have to have air logistics. There's just no way to transport the supplies you need. Black soil happened to us. Where did we get black soil? So let's turn on resources map mode and just see what strategic resource we just gained. I don't know what that would be. We're about to gain some some metal. Um, We did lose Karuna, which means we lost our source of tungsten. We'll be getting it back. We still have our heavy water. Uh, but I don't see where... It must be an ally of ours that has black soil, which is a manpower bonus, I believe. Yeah, it is. I'm sure I'll find it later. So Hanover is still producing oh, basically 11... Uh, crude oil per turn. We're going to need to up this to, to higher than that. Um, our refineries are in Hamburg. We're going to want to spread that out a little bit more too so that they can't be bombed all in one place. So we'll add some refineries in Hanover as well. And potentially some in Bremen, but we'll we'll just hold off on that for now. Refineries are pretty expensive. You can see that right here. Okay, Oslo is still holding out s somehow. I don't really understand that. Let's get our bombers back in. I probably withdrew them a little too too early. They've had a chance to rest, so that's good. Okay, yeah, the last bombing run was all it, all it took, so... Okay, Oslo is recaptured. Let's keep 4th Panzer Grenadier there. We'll send 3rd down to Kristiansand. Or actually, Stavanger. We'll put Fifth Mountain or Fifth Army, sorry, back into back into Oslo. We'll send our bombers home. Okay, Second Panzer Grenadier needs a mission. We've reestablished our logistics chain to Lulea, which is good. Um, I'm not sure where this division's going. It looks like it's been overrun, but it doesn't seem to know where it's going either. Uh, Klimtfall and Tunso are too slow, or are too low on infrastructure to move into, so we'll send Fourth Mountain back around. Okay, they've been overrun. That's great. Uh, overruns are the best you can ask for when you're fighting. Okay, so Italy is now officially part of the Axis. That's good. Another destroyer's out of the shipyards. Let's assign it to our eastern fleet. And we'll 
I'll send these guys back to Konigsberg. We're not going to need them anymore over here. Okay, we started on our infantry divisions. Looks like the rest of our destroyers are about to come out. We'll actually send 5th Army to just capture these remaining territory holdouts here. So 2nd Mountain will head north this way. And 1st Mountain will... Let's see what our infrastructure is. Okay, so this territory can't be moved in, so we've actually cut off the Norwegian 2nd Corps headquarters unit, so... We'll just overrun it with our 5th Panzer Grenadier. Looks like this British division's pretty much toast as well. We're still having supply issues. Let's get these guys going. Okay, so this is calmed down. So we'll add two more infantry corps to 4th Army. We'll be creating 6th Army from scratch, which will guard this uh, Laval uh, direct direction. And then we'll have another probably hybrid army of infantry and tanks down in Norway. So that's our build goal for, for the Eastern Front. We're still really behind on our garrison divisions for Western Europe. Um, not really sure how to speed that up at this point. We just need to make sure we don't uh, lose France to a amphibious invasion. So we're just going to keep our motorized divisions out there. They're not useful up here. This terrain sucks for tanks. Close air support prototype. Let's check what that gives us. Uh, Stuka B2 variant. Great. So let's actually... It occurred to me that we've left our ground attack stuff in out west. So where is STG-1? There it is. Okay, these guys will be assigned to um, first flying corps with, uh, let's see, army group north. Where is that headquarters? And then second flying, uh, let's see, second STG will be up there as well. We're going to want to get at least two more groups of Stukas um, built by Barbarossa. Okay, so Flying Corps 1 now has one interceptor wing and two ground attack wings. Let's get KG-1 assigned to Army Group North. or not directly, to uh, Flying Corps 1. You get the idea. And KG-2 will be assigned to whatever Flying Corps we get attached to Army Group Center. Let's get that headquarters built. Okay, so we've really broken into the north part of um, Sweden here, so let's just get our divisions moving. Third Mountain should be able to take care of that. Let's send 5th Panzer Grenadier to Lulea. Fifth Mountain needed quite a bit of a rest there. They're moving slowly. Okay, there's the rest of our destroyers. Let's assign them to our heavy cruisers. All right, and we're going to split this fleet into two groups here. So There we go. And we'll make the fourth surface action group. Get them a superior tactician. 
All right, so these guys will actually be part of um, North Sea Command. We won't need them in the Baltic. Let's get our carrier fleets back to Kiel as well. How are we doing on carrier air groups? Okay. Uh, we're a little behind on that. Let's get this pushed to the top. We also want these 40 techs to the top. And that's, that's it for now. Okay, still running into supply issues up here. Okay, so there's not enough supplies in these in interior um, regions to move uh, second panzer in here, so we'll send them to the coast. So watch their speed up um, when they get some airdrop supplies. So they're at 0.6 kilometers per hour, and that should go up to uh, better than that as soon as they get enough fuel. Looks like they're still out. Interestingly, Fifth Mountain or Fifth Panzer Grenadier, way further in inland, is doing just fine with that. Okay, this um, British division is overrun. Should disappear momentarily. Okay, so let's check on our subs. One through four made it safely to Brest. Uh, let's see, five, six, seven and eight to Lorient, and then Saint-Nazaire has the rest. Okay, let's, we're gonna wait for two more U-boat groups to get a better level of coverage, and then we'll send them out. Okay, SS Infantry Brigade, we're gonna want those later. There's a Swedish ski division here that's not really, okay, they're back up to six kilometers. That's not really doing much. Um, maybe they're just out of supply, it's hard to say. Okay, Fifth Mountain is about to attack again. Let's see if they can push into Moirana. And I think they shouldn't have a problem with that. There's um, some pretty beat up Norwegian divisions in the way. Okay, so there's some large mountains in central Norway, so we're going to not be able to push across here. Again, you can see from infrastructure that we can't move that direction. So we'll send third to finish off these headquarter units, and then second we'll go around the back to help first mountain. Okay, we've actually captured or are about to destroy the Norwegian High Command, so that's, uh, that's really great news. Autumn mud. Okay, so the weather's starting to turn. Okay, there's our infantry almost in production. Let's get another Panzer Corps in queue. All right, so this is a decision about what we do with Great Britain uh, if and when we're able to invade them. We're going to say um, we must set up a right government for the English, so that'll work. Medium artillery, why not? Motorized engineers, why not? Okay, so Fourth Mountain is finally um, almost ready to assist Fifth. They have about 80 hours to go. So we're current tech on radios and little, no, we're doing fine on uh, Army Command as well. First Panzer Grenadier's out of supplies again.
Okay, another Norwegian division was able to get into position. Okay. Okay, there's our next four subs coming out. So we'll start being able to um, place subs directly in the Atlantic ports. All right, so we're close enough. I'm going to send out our subs. We can now reach the mid-Atlantic. So we'll start on convoy raiding. We'll go aggressive too. Fourth can go up here. We're still having some range issues. These are older subs. Uh, in the last video, I did start production on two long range subs. We'll kind of see what range we can get out of those probably in the next video. I am curious how effective this first round of mid-Atlantic rating goes. Okay, uh, seventh can go here. I'm trying to stay out of most of the air cover of the Brits out here, so focusing on kind of the mid-Atlantic here. Um, not as far mid as I'd like. Let's see how far south ninth can get. We'll just do the coast of Spain. 10th and 11th. Um, see if we can hit anything going toward Gibraltar. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's our initial layout. Um, we have plenty of subs coming out of production, so we'll be able to replace losses. The sooner they get away from the coast of France, the better. So let's get 12th built. We'll put these guys in La Rochelle. These guys are Type C41, so this is the most advanced sub we've been able to produce so far. And 13. We really do need the wolf pack guys. Um, Daisher, cooler. So this is a great, a good combo. Blockade runner, disengage timer bonus, and speed bonus in ocean, plus sea wolf. So we'll attach him. We'll let them build organization for a bit. Oof, we did get caught in a naval battle in the mouth of the Loire against. Looks like some subs and a light cruiser. Ooh, and we got caught by some more, actually. So we're going to take some losses in this. Let's go up to Norway. Okay, so fifth was able to push. That's good. Fourth is not far behind. Fifth will actually... Well, they're going to hold Mo Moirana. Okay, so we were able to destroy two destroyer escorts and a destroyer. Let's send 11th back to Nantes to repair one of the subs that's pretty messed up, along with 5th. Actually, 5th will go to Lorient. Oh, these guys got caught too. Ooh, this is not going to go very well. Uh, yeah, we're losing subs. That sucks. Okay, so we did destroy some things, but we lost some subs. Okay, so let's actually... Um, well, we do have replacements coming out, so... We'll just have to track what groups we're losing here. So it is a numbers battle, so as long as we're producing subs faster than we lose them, we're doing okay. Alright, 
We're doing really well in Norway. Okay, so the Swedish um, division's back in action. Fifth Panzer Grenadiers just beelining north. They're gonna just go straight for um, Karuna. Okay, so we lost quite a bit of subs there. Uh, we're going to redeploy a, a bunch of our units here. I think our visibility is just too high on these early subs. Six. Okay, six got damaged pretty good. We are sinking. We are sinking ships though. So it looks like our southern groups were able to get out a lot better. See what groups are in action here. So, ninth, tenth, and eighth. Okay, as soon as we round the northern tip of Spain, you're usually a little bit safer. Yeah, and they are sinking ships. That's good news. All right. Oh, let's get our convoy raiders out too. We'll do a shorter trip to Cherbourg and then just see how conditions go. Fifth Mountain is taking quite um, a lot of attention off of, off of us right now, which is good. Fourth is almost ready to... Oh no, they are moving already. So let's see if third can get in behind through the gap in the mountains. Okay, seventh will send to L'Oreal. Soviet Union is mobilizing. Okay, so they do have a lot of troops on the border already. Um, nothing too scary, but they do have a large army. So we'll be relying on encirclement to even the odds. Okay, uh, first Mountain Corps is kind of coalescing here. Um, this is good. We are still having some supply issues with this motorized core, but not not terribly. Uh, looks like fifth and seventh submarine groups will be able to go out soon. Okay, getting a little ahead on some of these bl blitzkrieg uh, things. Political integration is available now, um, which just improves our SS and fascist um, units organization by a little bit. Okay, first submarine group is ready to go back out, Let's see if they can get out there safely. Okay, those came, those got out too. So let's send uh, some of our convoy raiders to these ports. They got to Cherbourg, okay. Ooh, we did lose a submarine in ninth USB group. And we're taking lots of casualties here. We'll see if we can get some um, more progress on our submarine techs early next year. OK, 
Okay, third mountain's in place um, behind these guys to hopefully cut them off. These are all headquarters units, so the remainder of the Norwegian army is stuck right here, so hopefully we can um, destroy them. Okay, first mountain beat these Brits to um, Apjolog, and second beat the French to um, the punch in Sorcelle. So first and second we'll just advance west to support. Okay, fifth Panzer Grenadiers holding for the moment. We'll get first to head up this direction. Okay, so our logistical situation should improve slightly now that there's a um, unimpeded route through Sweden. Okay. Look at this one's trying to go back out. Let's just tell him no. It looks like first USB was able to get out to the Central Atlantic, so it'll be much safer out there. Okay, so this encirclement battle is going pretty well. Don't have any air support up that far north. There's no air base at Lulea. Closest air base is in Ostersund. So let's actually see if we can get... Where's KG-1? Oh yeah, we had to reassign them. KG-1 is going to head to Ostersund just for some long-range uh, bomber support. Submarine so crew advance, that's good. Uh, let's see. Damage control will get to the top. Let's go check out our Navy trainings. So, unrestricted submarine warfare needs one more in trade interdiction submarine doctrine. We moved up to the top because that's really, really, really helpful and it gets us unrestricted submarine warfare faster. Battle of Jackvik. All right, so we're pushing these guys out. Um, and we're cornering them down in Umnas. And they can't escape further south, and their route north is cut. All right, so this division has um, been shattered. Third will attack north across the river, along with fourth. Fifth will just stand defense. All right, we're connecting with 5th Panzer Grenadier. We'll um, see if we can get a flanking maneuver out here to the east, up to Karuna. Something like that. Christian Sand. Okay, we expected something like that to happen. We have 3rd Panzer Grenadier down here. We'll send them over. We'll send 4th Panzer Grenadier down as well. All right, let's get our combo raiders out to fill some of these gaps. I usually put my combo raiders on passive. They, they're really great reconnaissance for our subs, so we want to try to avoid losing them. And they do sink a few ships here and there, so... Atlantis. And Thor. And Comet is the last one.
Hopefully not too much is landing here. Lost Christian sound. We won the Battle of Hakas. Fifth will start advancing north. Oh, there's Hakas. It's just a single Marine Division again. Okay, we're starting to sink a steady stream of ships here. Uh, let's see if we can get... Okay, U-163 is severely damaged. Oh, and we lost we lost U one seven eight. Okay, that's a bummer. Okay, well we're we're expecting to take heavy U boat losses. This is just not going very well, even with that said. So, remember Karuna is our um, primary target. That's our strategic location with tungsten. So. Oh, we've taken a vacation, apparently. Not huge uh, negatives on that. Get some more subs to the top. Torrendo. Okay, so we're we're starting to liberate pretty much all of Sweden. Trondheim. Okay, second we'll attack south to hopefully shatter these French. We don't need to save coal, we're good on that. Okay, our Panzer Grenadiers are still moving at a pretty decent speed. That's good. Okay, 12th and 13th, let's get sent out to plug some of these gaps. And we'll rename one of them fifth, and the other one tenth. Okay, now we're really starting to sink ships. This is good. Okay, we do need some supplies, we'll say yes to that. Okay, the Brits are really putting up some, um, putting up a fight for Kiruna, but it's not really going to be enough. Let's hopefully surround these divisions here. Okay, Fifth Mountain's not doing so well in this attack here. Uh, hopefully, when Fourth can get into the action, that'll help. We're about to just break this this Tenth Royal Marines division here, and then oh, what did we lose? Oh gosh. Okay, Fifth and Tenth just got really badly wrecked. Yeah, we're having some serious issues with, I think, how visible these subs are. Um, their visibility is 
Let's see. Sea attack is high. Visibility is 6.7. That's pretty high. Okay, let's get these guys to safety before we lose any. All right, uh, let's see. The aerial core Italian was an expeditionary force from, let's see, participated in the Battle of Britain. Let's see. Not a very helpful assignment. Petrol rationing, yes. I don't really want these units. Let's send these down to. We'll send these down to Bordeaux. Let's see if we can do any naval bombing with them. We've recaptured Karuna, which means we're now in control of Tungsten again. Let's just keep pushing toward Narvik. Okay, we get a decision for French workers. We'll say good to that because that gives us some minor bonuses. We've lost another U boat, God. All right, 5th Panzergrenadier is taking a hit from the Alta Battalion, so it looks like that's really what all that remains in the Norwegian Army. Uh, we're going to start seeing some of these Nor uh, SS um, garrisons disband. That's fine, we don't need them. Nothing too important yet. All right, Second Royal Marines is putting up um, a huge fight in Svapvara. Okay, let's start a bombing mission on these French units. Let's just keep them on the down, the down foot. Lost another sub. Eighth, eighth USB is toast. And I think I'll leave it there. So this video, um, we really didn't make a huge amount of progress. A lot of that was spent um, kind of finishing up the Scandinavian campaign, which unfortunately is still not done, and uh, giving a first attempt at <laughs> a first go at the Battle of the Atlantic, and it's not going well for us. I mean, we have units out 
doing convoy raiding, but we've lost quite a bit of subs. So we'll see if we can turn that around in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, um, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys next time.